Alright, Future Asex here. I've been extremely depressed again for the past couple weeks. I've always been depressed, but it got much worse than usual because I've randomly got a persistent migraine that's so strong that it feels like someone's drilling directly into my eyeball and the only thing that actually helped ease the pain were a shit ton of painkillers. And that shit's been going on for almost three months with no fucking break and shit. Since no cause has still been found, it's been weighing extremely heavily on me. Especially since I've worked really hard for two years to towards securing myself a future with work and shit like that and seeing potentially all go to waste and crumble right before my eyes because of something I have no control over has made my depression so much worse than it used to be up to this point. I sit around waiting for doctor appointments and suddenly feel so fucking down as if the world is about to end and most of the time I don't even know why I'm so sad anymore. It just fucking sucks dude. Why am I telling you this? Because while I was away and depressed and constantly thought about giving up entirely what helped me pull myself up and brush off the dirt were pretentious yet inspiring quotes, lyrics, sayings or just things someone said. So I decided fuck it. To counterbalance all this randomness and weirdness I'm going to put out on this channel in the future, let me have a quick pretentious moment with you guys at the start of every video. So here's a pretentious, maybe even cringy quote I came up with while I was feeling depressed. Maybe it'll help make you feel a little better or inspired. And if not, at least you get to cringe at my pretentiousness and then we'll continue this random madness of ranking animals, alright? Random pretentious quote of the day. I thought up, depending on how you look at it, this one might either be either motivational or a doozy. In this system we created, we either work and live together or work and die alone. Walking over corpses to reach your selfish goals will not give you recognition, friends, support or love. You will simply die with everything you could ever want except people that truly care about you. No one that loves you for what you've done, no one that recognizes your efforts because they were directly harming others. On your deathbed you will be alone and eventually you'll regret the decisions you made that led you right here in the first place. But by then it'll be too late. No one will care about you and this newfound realization will be with you until the last seconds of your life. So stop being a selfish cunt. We're stronger together anyway. So let's work through this together. Alright, enough crybaby pretentious dickhead ASICs. I admit that shit was kinda dark, but fuck it. Let's get back to some random ass slightly humorous ranking of some animals, bitch! Previously on A6 Tries Ranking Animals in the tier list part 1. A6 started his sexy journey in ranking a bunch of animals by awesomeness. Only to be hindered by the villainous Da Vinci Resolve itself. Attempting to salvage what he could and save the surviving edits from the clutches of the evil Project File Corruption, Asics set out to split this simple video idea in two. Because reasons. Yeah. Witness the hot and awesome conclusion to this epic two part saga of a cartoon VTuber wannabe PNG tuber wish.com nerd with a small dick and looking like sleep deprivation if it was a person trying to rank animals only here on a6hub.cock. Eat my ass. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Ah, yes, true classic and a big fuck you by nature. Penguin Zero. It's called magazines. Did you know that they have knees? And that they are basically squatting the entire time? Nature sure hates these cute little guys. But guess what? My opinion on penguins matter more than that of nature. So up you go little fella. All the way to S tier. <laughs> Next, a fucking moose, huh? Well, I mean... They got some huge ass horns or whatever the fuck those things are called, but I don't know. They're big, they're dirty, and the sounds they make when it's mating season. His urine has a smell that the females find both pleasurable and exciting. It makes him, in my opinion, a really boring C tier animal. And since your, the viewers' opinions don't matter, C tier it is then. Alright, next up is a frog. I just realized that there are multiple types of frogs in this list. Whoever made this list sure loves their frogs. Huh. Wait. Maybe it's not a frog. Maybe it's a lizard. I can't really tell only by that smallest picture. But the color looks like that of a frog since they tend to have some really bright colors. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. It's cute but slimy and probably also really fast. 
B-tier. Just like the rest of the reptiles and shit. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Moving on. A panda bear. You know, they're cute and stupid and lazy to the point of possibly facing extinction because they are even too lazy to mate. <laughs> they roll around and <laughs> climb stuff and are the children of the animal world. Some might say they're an easy S tier, also because they're black, white, and Asian, and through that are essentially immune to being called a racist. But I'm not some guy. I am XX. And I don't like things of the mainstream. So pathetic A tier it is. <laughs> Alright, next up is... I think that's a mountain lion. They're nothing really special to be honest. The only thing that gives them an edge over others of their kind is the fact that when they scream it sounds like a human woman in distress. Imagine it's in the middle of the night and suddenly you hear some crazy ass screams like someone is getting tortured to death and call the cops just for it to turn out to be a mountain lion making that noise. Now that's what I, who could have guessed, call absolutely hilarious. B tier. Next. <laughs> Your mom. Your mom is quite a fascinating creature for real, no cap. She's huge, she's slow, and she's your mom. But since she can only swim and has finger bones inside her fins or whatever it's called, it's a solid C tier for me. Also, tell your mom I said hi. Alright, next, a fucking squid, I think. Not much I can say about those things. They're neither cute nor disgusting, but since giant squids exist, which tend to fight with your mom deep in the ocean, they get bummed up slightly higher. So instead of a C tier animal like your mom, they get to be a B tier beta cup. Okay, next we got motherfucking Nemo. <laughs> that scared me, dude. <clears throat> Clownfish, aka you, you fucking clown. They have some really nice colors, very vibrant and sleek. Not to mention those clean ass stripes. Aside from that, they're nothing special. Story of my life, just ask my dick. But you know, they have made a movie about clownfishes for no reason. So, A tier. And okay, I guess Patrick Star is up <sighs> next. Starfishies. They're usually really boring, but once they move, they're creepy and disgusting as hell, so that's a C tier for me. Cause it's Not quite D tier because they border on boring and disgusting and aren't just disgusting like snakes. Okay, what's next? Oh. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, Bacon. No, oh. I don't have a lot of things to say about pigs. They're like dogs, but dirtier. And we eat them. Solid B. <laughs> They're a perfect S tier creature. They're as smart as dogs. Uh. They love dirt just like me. They eat everything just like your mom. And we turn them into bacon and eat them like that hillbilly cannibal uncle every one of us has. Right? It's not just me, right? Back in my days, a real man had a penis in his face. Huh? That was what made him real man, real man. Uh, Not some sissy fucking pussy licking shit. No. No fucking needing some fucking boobies. Nah, real man had penises in their face. Uh, up up in the mouth and the fucking nose and ears and shit. Yeah. You know, there is no perfection in this world, but. If perfection existed, it would be in the form of pigs without a doubt. S tier. <laughs> now shut up and don't you dare question my decisions. <laughs> okay, otters. When they swim on their backs, they're actually quite cute. But they smell fucking awful. Uh, well, but they have a cute teddy-like face. But they smell like dick cheese. But they carry their babies on their stomachs while swimming, which is just adorable. But it smells so fucking awful that it flashbangs you so hard, you'll think you're attending a smash tournament. A tier. Chicken. S tier. Just look at this video and tell me they ain't S tier, brother. <laughs> Okay, next up, a porcupine if I'm not mistaken. At least I think it is. It's actually a bit difficult since the pictures are so small, but I'm pretty sure it's a porcupine. I gotta admit, I know fuck all about them. But the fact that they can use their spikes to defend themselves and that they look fluffy at the same time nets them at least a B tier. Alright, 
jeez, why is this so much work? I expected this to be quick and easy. A cow. <laughs> AKA your girlfriend. No, okay, I'll stop with those jokes. Cows are awesome. They moo. They provide delicious ass milk from their nipple titties. Like milk. They listen to music and watch with a stupid expression. And the shit they shit is fucking hilarious. I mean, it's basically super diarrhea all the way. And when it dries, you essentially got infinite frisbees. A true life hack animal. <coughs> S tier. All right, all right, all right. Next animal, please. I ain't got all day, you know? Ah, yes. A cocksucking zebra. Fucking D tier. Useless critter. <coughs> Next, a horse. Finally, back to useful animals again. Horses are great. They have nicer hair than me. They have stronger muscles than me. Look at them teeth though. Yeah, I'm British. How'd you know? And you can sit on them and command them around. But unlike other obedient animals, once they're tired of your bullshit, they're not afraid to throw you off them or even crush you by doing a motherfucking backflip from hell. A tier. Not quite S tier, simply because Mr. Hands. These fuckers ruin horses for me. Next, before I get flashbacks, another frog. Well, aside from the colors, it's just weird. I bet it's one of those frogs which produce hallucinogenic gel, sweat or something from which other animals get high. Or maybe I'm high right now and don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Or maybe even both. B tier. And next we got whichever the fuck this thing is. Either a crocodile or a gator. But I lean towards crocodile. Fuck those things. The only, and I mean the only, redeeming quality this animal has is the fact that their feet look really funny when they're floating on the water. But that's all. C tier. Fuck on my face. No. Wolf. Easy. Like a dog, but feral and wilder. Also hairier and much more brutal. S tier. What does the fox say? <laughs> Great animals. Foxes are just great. They're fluffy, they're playful, they eat berries and tend to fill your garden with shit. And with shit, I mean literal shit. They're just awesome. S tier. Next, the best deep throat hoe of your life. The so-called giraffe. Or what I like to call them. The girl next door. Impressive height. Long ass neck. A tongue so freaky it makes your uncle sweat like crazy just thinking about it. Gentle fuck me eyes and a cool fur pattern. What's there not to like about giraffes? I swear, fuck cat girls. <laughs> Giraffe girls are the better pigs. S tier. Ah, and now we got my favorite. Why is the next animal my favorite? Because it's me! <laughs> That's right, all this time you thought it was a cartoon on the internet who's down bad for some giraffe pussy. But now the plot twist of your life punches you directly in your face. I am a hippo. Hippos are the bastards of the animal kingdom, no doubt. They can crush watermelons with ease. They barely have any teeth. They have no hair, I think, or barely any. The look in their eyes says, Stoner 420, yo dude, I'm like frozen dude. Also, farting hippo shards and use its tiny tail to fling its shit around. That's so me. Plus, they are brutal as fuck and don't hesitate to brutally torture and kill other animals like the sick psychopathic bitches they are. S tier. Uh, and now for the most overrated animal in the entire animal kingdom. The king himself. The motherfucking lion. King? <laughs> More like peasant. Get that loser out of my face. Sigma balls all the way. Alpha is the new beta. D tier. Oh, damn it. And now for its weird incestuous cousin. The tiger. Honestly, the tiger deserves the spotlight more so than a lion. The lion is boring. Tigers have cool stripes. Nice fur and when you come face to face with one, you're fucking dead, bro. Lions are giant pussycats. Fuck em. But tigers? I mean... I'm not down bad or anything, but I tap that Tigussy any day of the week if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> S 
year. Next, a deer. Be a deer and go straight to C tier. Bambi. Actually, I once saw a video of a farting deer. Or doe. Or whatever. So, B tier. Just because that shit's funny to me. Next, turtle, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think tortoises have bigger shells or something. I don't know. I mean, what the fuck do I know? I know basically nothing at this point, so yeah. It's a reoccurring theme, I guess. So turtle it is. Turtles are at least eight here. They look funny. They have a shell they can hide in. They can both walk on land with their weird ass paddle feet things, but also swim like an absolute pro. Bonus points for baby turtles. Funniest shit ever when they make their way to the ocean right after being born. Those are some really dedicated dudes, my guy. Also, racist turtle is funny. That dude hates black shoes like there's no tomorrow. You know, racism isn't funny in general, but racism Racist animals? Now that shit's hilarious, not gonna lie. S tier. Moving on. Yet another fucking frog. Or toad. I don't know, and honestly at this point I really don't care. Boring. If it's not a gay frog, then it don't go above C tier, bitch. Ant eater thing is up next. Also one of the weirdest animals ever. I mean, just look at them. What the hell was nature thinking when they created these things? Sure, they're cute, but Ugly cute and weird cute. Look at that schnoz, bro. Bigger than my d A tier. We're slowly making our way through this tier list and soon it'll be all be over. Just hang in there a little while longer. I know this is boring as hell, but what did you expect? After all, this is my first actual video. You got them greedy piece of hammerhead shark. Seriously. What was nature thinking with this one as well? I'm almost convinced that nature at one point said, fuck it, let's make the next couple of animals look as goofy as possible and created those things as a result. Aside from their weird looks, they're mid though. Nah, actually low mid. C tier. Bye nerd. Up next, the elephant. Or as pictured, a baby elephant. I think I don't need to say anything about these dudes. You gotta agree that their waifu best bay crush me with your legs, mommy. Big giant holy guacamole, look at that long ass gigantic humongous dump truck, dude. Instant S tier. Plus, they seem to enjoy classical music quite a bit. Sophisticated motherfuckers, that's for sure. Next, your uncle, aka a chimpanzee. They are funny as hell, but also weird as fuck. They're kinda like humans, but also really nothing like us at all. They are monkey. And monkey is best, but only deserves A tier. Because of arbitrary reasons, I don't care to explain at this point. Next, goldfishies. They are like regular fish, but orange. Whoever named them the way they're named deserves to be slaughtered by a gang of flat earthers. C tier. And now, for the Australian special, the kangaroo. They're buff, and I mean they're really buff. Also look at them legs, Jesus Christ. And a pocket moo moo too? Jesus, you gonna make me act up again, sheesh. A tier. Next, snails. Cute but also really disgusting. C tier. Moving on, a black bear. Black bears are just like regular bears. Except black, at least that's the only difference I noticed. Full strength, but aside from that, nothing really special. B tier. B for B. By the way, can you tell that I just want to finish this list as fast as possible at this point? This goddamn script is already six pages long, dude. Next. Wait, a gorilla again? Wait, no way. Right, right wife. wife. Is that you? Instant S tier. Right, wife. Life good. Wife fight back. <laughs> Kill wife. And next we got... Oh. Oh, hello there. Looks like we got ourselves a big buff, muscly, sweaty ass, oily ass man. Sheesh, look at that physique, man. Damn, that's gonna make me gig in that 3000 in just two seconds, no cap. Y'all know where this fine specimen belongs to. <laughs> Moving along, we've got an alligator, or at least I think it is. Same with a crocodile, C tier. At least they look zesty as hell when they float on the water. Next, a slug. Aka the thing that looks like the long brown sausage I leave inside the toilet for everyone to admire after squeezing it out in a slow, long drawn out and painful process. Ugly creatures, disgusting creatures, 
absolute abominations. Worse than snakes, and that's gotta say something. After all, snakes are the devil incarnate. Slugs are just... Ew. D tier. I'd put it even lower, but I have no idea how to add that column, so... D tier it is. Alright, up next we have something I have no idea what in the world that's supposed to be. And I'm not even kidding. Is that a tapir? Tapir? I think that's a tape, tapir, tapir, tapir? And if it isn't... Fuck you! Tapirs. Weird elephant-like things, but just so damn uncanny. I really don't like copycats. And they're not even good copycats. It's like you ordered an elephant off of Wish.com or some shit like that. So in B tier it goes. Almost done. I can't wait to finish this video and jerk off all alone in my dark room at night and then cry myself to sleep like I always do. Next. Pussy. I mean, cat. Cats are overrated. Also, why the fuck are cats part of this list but not dogs? Unless... Unless the puck was meant to be the spokesperson for dogs in general, just like I thought in my weird ass head canon. Oh well, cats are shit. C tier. Second to last, an octopussy. <laughs> like squids, but weirder. I... I don't like them. They're hentai villains, dude. C tier. Ladies and gentlemen, fuckers and suckers. Last but not least, a goddamn reptile. Again. I was hoping to end this list with a banger, but oh well, it's life for you. Also, what is that? Is that a gecko? Boring. C tier trash. And here it is. It took me almost 5000 words to rank all these stinky creatures. Now imagine I picked the 300 plus one. Oof. Alright, starting from the top, S tier animals are Big Buff Oily Man, Axolotls, Red Wife, Harambe, Pucks, Penguins, Pigs, look at all those chickens, The Cow Goes Moo, Wolves, Foxes, Giraffes, Hippos, Tigers, Turtles and Elephants. A tier animals, Donkeys, Armadillos, Pandas, Clownfish Max, Otters, Horses and Eaters, Chimps and Kangaroos. B tier consists of Lizard, Frog, Reptile, Frog, Mountain Lions, Squids, Porcupines, Frog, again, doe or deer, who cares, black bear, and tapir, tapir, ta tapir, ta ta tapir, ta ta tapir, tapir, I think. C tier animals being, fuck if I know, mooses, whales, Patrick, crocs, gatorades, yet another fucking frog, hammerhead sharks, orange fish, aka goldfish, snails, cats, pocket octopuses, and reptile thing. And lastly, D tier. The worst of the worst, the dirty anuses of the animal kingdom. Snakes, zebras, lions and motherfucking slugs. And that's it folks, that's a goddamn wrap. See you next time. Also, don't you dare criticize my list, this is how it's supposed to be. Big buff oily man over hot anime waifus any day my guy. Alright, K okay, bye. Random end of video fun fact. I hate when my nipples get sore from rubbing against my shirts. I'm gonna sue my shirts for sexual harassment. Yes. Fuck yeah.